when it comes to making a model, there are lots of gadgets that can help. But which ones do we really need? And are there some that we can do without? Hi, welcome back to St Blazy Model World. I suppose a good place to start is defining what a gadget is. Well, to my mind, a gadget is a device that makes it easier to carry out a task. And of course, there's lots to choose from. So, as we enter this gadget world, let's take a look at one or two and see which ones really help. This mini series is going to be filmed in several parts. And so I suppose the best place to start is at the budget end. So everything that we're going to look at today costs £10 or less. By far the cheapest gadgets in my toolbox are these two, cotton buds and cocktail sticks. I use cotton buds for cleaning my airbrushes and uh, also for taking some paint off where I'm trying to apply weathering. And uh, the cocktail sticks, well, they come in handy for all sorts of things, mostly stirring paint. And because the tip of the cocktail stick is fixed and doesn't have any hair on it, it makes it ideal for painting very small detail where I can get a very controlled amount of paint flow onto whatever it is I'm working on. As we're talking about painting, I suppose the next logical step would be pipettes. I use these uh, really for decanting paint and thinners into my mixing jars and uh, they're cheap to buy and come in a range of sizes. These particular ones have a working range or a working, working area rather of about six inches in length and uh, they're ideal and at the price they are they can be regarded as a disposable item. This is common all garden masking tape it comes in a range of sizes uh, this particular one is a half inch roll or half inch width I should say of the tape and you use this of course to apply masking areas to avoid getting paint onto another area of the project. But I also use it to hold together things while they're gluing dry. And uh, it works well for that, particularly things like buildings where you're trying to join two pieces together that need to be at right angles and just apply a little bit of masking tape. That does the hard work for you and you can go away and have a cup of tea while the part's dry. And again, of course, very cheap to buy. Up next we have a bottle of nail varnish remover and I use this most to remove the tampo printing that is on a lot of models these days and why would I want to do that? Well if I'm applying my own decals I might want to do that and we've got a video on making decals coming up shortly and I'll show you in more detail how this product is used then. Tweezers and mini pliers. Now of course the tweezers are almost a given in model making, ideal for holding on small pieces while you glue or paint. And the mini pliers are available from a range of manufacturers, often in sets. And again, for the money, you can't really say no. Now in the background there, we have a needle file. And again, I have a couple of sets of these, ideal for working off sprue areas from plastic kits or trimming up, or any other area where using a knife might be just that bit too much of a gamble. In the foreground, we've got a metal spatula, and again, I've got several of these. Very low cost, less than three pounds. And I use this for uh, stirring paint mainly. And when I've added thinners to my paint, if it's an airbrush time, well, that works just as well for stirring that in and making sure that I've got a very thorough mix before I start my painting process. Helping hands. As the name suggests, a couple of crocodile clips and a magnifying glass to make sure we can see exactly what we're doing in close detail. Currently they're holding a body from a London taxi kit, which uh, I recently won on eBay. Please don't ask me why somebody thought it was a good idea to paint it yellow. Um, that's how it came and we're going to be tackling that and you'll see that project coming up in a future video. 
but once again a gadget in the sub £10 category. Well, as Leslie Nielsen would say, nothing to see here. But uh, this is, of course, Scotch cloth. And if you watch my previous uh, painting series on preparing a model, you'll know that I use this for removing some of the shine and some of the paint from metal models uh, and plastic models as well. And it's very cheap to buy. And it doesn't, it's not as harsh and aggressive as things like wire wool. So when you want to uh, take off some paint this is the ideal tool for the job very cheap and uh, this piece has been well used but it's going to earn its uh, living a little bit longer as we tackle the uh, taxi kit that uh, you've just seen right now for something a little bit unusual this is a florist's uh, product i believe it's called oasis and if you're in that industry and know better you know, please excuse my ignorance often seen in green and this is brown uh, but I use this to hold either sprues complete sprues as in this case here or parts of plastic kits while I'm painting them and you can see that that small piece of oasis is holding that kit sprue steady so that I could paint any part of the items on this sprue and not have to worry about putting them down with wet paint on them and ruining my work. Um, this uh, piece of Oasis came as a small job lot uh, of about eight pieces and again less than ten pounds. Now as well as my mini pliers and cutters when it comes to removing or cutting objects you really do need at least a basic craft knife set and this particular one from Amtec again well under ten pounds I'm not sure that I would use the super glue there, but you do get several blade holders and a range of blades that allow you to carry out different cutting operations. So gadgets all around. In the next part of this series, we'll take a look at some gadgets that sit between the 10 and 30 pounds mark and see what we can find and see what's useful and again, are there any that we can do without? That's it for now. I'm sorry it's been another short one. Work becomes ever more pressing and of course we're not living in normal times as we all know. I do hope you found this video useful. Please remember to give it a like. Hit the subscribe button. Doesn't cost you anything. Hit the, like, uh, the bell icon as well. And you'll get a notification every time we release a new video here at St Blazy Model World. Take care, stay safe, bye for now.